Principle number one, listen twice as much as you speak and embark on a journey towards inner serenity. Listen twice as much as you speak. Our first lesson delves deep into the transformative power of listening. This isn't just about hearing words, but about truly understanding the essence behind them. Buddha once beautifully articulated this concept, saying trying to understand everything is to forgive everything. This profound statement of understanding to the deep connection between understanding and compassion. When we listen more and speak less, we embark on a journey of greater empathy and comprehension. It's about actively engaging with the world around us, not just passively hearing it. By doing so, we allow ourselves to truly connect with the emotions, thoughts, and experiences of others. This practice opens our hearts to the intricate tapestries of human experience, weaving a bond of understanding that transcends mere words. Moreover, listening more than we speak doesn't diminish our voice. Instead, it enhances the quality of our interactions. When we do speak, our words are more thoughtful, informed, and resonant. They come from a place of deep understanding, not just superficial acquaintance with the subject. This art of listening extends beyond personal conversations. It involves listening to the world around us, to nature, to silence, to the unspoken words of those who may not have voices. In doing so, we develop a broader perspective of the world, a panorama of diverse viewpoints and experiences. This is not only enriches our understanding, but also fosters a sense of inner peace and wisdom. By listening twice as much as we speak, we unlock a universe of understanding. We learn to perceive the unspoken, to empathize with the unheard, and to connect with the unseen. This door opens to deeper connectors and connections, not just with others, but also with ourselves. It is through this profound listening that we begin to understand the intricacies of life to the subtleties of human and profound truths that govern our existence. As we listen, we grow in understanding, in compassion, and in wisdom. Principle number two, don't allow the comments and attitudes of others to control your life. Imagine your life as a unique journey like an adventurous hike through a beautiful forest. Along this path, you come across people who have different kinds of attitudes than yours and perceptions. And as you walk along this path, you can stumble upon rocks and twigs, so you gotta watch where you're walking. And the direction of the forest, now Buddha, who is known for his profound wisdom, once shared this guidance. Do not dwell in the past. Do not dream of the future. Concentrate the mind on the present moment. What does this mean? It means focus should be on the now. Just like when you're hiking, you pay attention to the trail you're on. The lesson here is about finding your own way on your life's path without getting lost in the thoughts and judgments of others. You see, sometimes people may have their own ideas about what you should do, or they might have comments about your choices. While it's natural to consider advice, it's equally important to remember that you're, it's your journey, it's yours to navigate. Just like when you let the, someone hike your path for you, don't let others decide your life's direction. This lesson encourages you to follow your own heart and values to stay true to who you are, and to make the choices that resonate with your inner wisdom. By doing so, you remain the captain of your own life, charting a course that feels right to you. Regardless of what others might think or say, it's about finding your own unique path and walking it with confidence and authenticity. Authenticity? Authenticity.